This really is a beautiful country. This is a very religious people in the Dominican Republic, and they recognize the spirit of the Savior in all aspects of their life. We can try to bring that up with the perspective that we have of our Savior Jesus Christ and where living waters come from. Most of the people do not understand what it takes to deliver water. Water is life. Water is what everyone needs. Water is one of the most important resources. We use it to shower, drink, cook, brush your teeth. When making decisions about water, you need to have data. We tend to think of it like a rising tide raises all ships. And so by increasing the capacity of the people at Indri who have the responsibility here to manage water for the people, we hope that that trickles down and has a broad benefit for them. Our project can really help those that are most vulnerable, most impoverished, that are living close to these rivers, close to these areas that will be most affected by another Katrina or by another David. To bathe, to use for food, we need water for everything. We have twin models at Brigham Young University. The campus is our world, and enter to learn, go forth to serve. Projects like this allow us to accomplish both of those goals in a very real and meaningful way. But ultimately, if it doesn't change people's lives, we don't have that much of an impact. So what these programs allow us to do is to go into the developing countries in the third world, using students to help them elevate their technical capabilities. Our project involves the historical mapping of floods to help people in the future be able to take seriously what kinds of floods are coming in. They can evacuate, they can react better, they can prepare. The BYU Study Abroad program has been contributing since 2011. For the first five years, the students did project studies for dams, projects, reservoirs, uh, some irrigation canal projects. Then they went on to software development, and the contribution is great. Part of our project is to design an app that forecasts and displays the data for reservoirs in the Dominican Republic so that they can know how much water should be coming into a reservoir, which helps them to know how much they can let out of a reservoir. If we do not have water at the dam, then we have nothing to make energy from. So we began by meeting with the people at Indri. It really changes the dynamic of what they do when we have a chance to meet them personally. Then we have the opportunity to share across Indri and other organizations that benefit their work. Están haciendo un gran trabajo. Estamos muy impresionados. I love the hymn, Poor Wafering Man of Grief. It describes our lives as children of Christ. A lot of them are not people of our faith. Maybe they don't know the hymn by heart. Maybe they don't know the tune as well. But still, you can still feel it in your heart. We got to sing it with injury. It felt to me like it symbolized our combined efforts to share water. I spied him where a fountain burst. Clear from the rock, his strength was gone. The heedless water mocked his thirst. He heard it, saw it hurrying on. I was surprised to see the audience engaged in singing the song. They speak about Christ uh, being the fountain of water and the fountain of life. I ran and raised the sufferer up. Thrice from the stream he drained my cup. It's not just about water, although water is really important for our temporal needs uh, here on this earth, but really Jesus is the living water. Dipped and returned it running o'er, I drank and never thirsted more.